Okay, so here we are in the, at the base of the hills of Loch Crew. The local name for this area is the, the Witches Mountains. And uh, there's um, about 25 tombs here. And the one we're going to is called Cairn T. Now, I don't know if you get the key, but it's uh, an Equinox tomb. And I'll explain more about that when I get up to the top. But as you can see, there's a group of four hills. They're actually uh, about 5,000 years old, which makes them 2,000 years older than the pyramids. And uh, they come from a time where what's known as the Daidana or uh, the Tain, which is uh, uh, the lost people. It's the people who had to go underground. And after them uh, will come the Celts. So it's going to take me about uh, 20 minutes to walk to the top of where my Cairn tea. And uh, I've got the wrong shoes on, but it's, uh, it's worth it. So I'll talk to you when I'm halfway okay, up. Okay, so here we are about halfway up on our way up to Cairn T. Over there is one of the, uh, the other pastures tombs. And uh, I'm not going up there. I'm, just, I'm not fit enough to go over there today. So there's Cairn T in all its glory. Um, I'm going to say what I said again. It's, uh, you know, go back to... From here you should be able to see the Morn Mountains, the Bay of Dundalk and then across to Newgrange and Drogheda and then there's Kells and Navan and then the Hill of Tara and then you should you would normally be able to see the Dublin mountains and then you scoot around. I'm going to go up to the top of Carantine and give you a good look at this now and uh, go on then onto the Sligo mountains and then Loch Sheelan back to Old Castle in around here again and then back to the Moor Mountains. Underneath those trees there there's also some passage graves but uh, I mean there's been a continuous history here for 5,000 years so you know a lot of things have been lost but, uh, as I say most of it's connected now with the uh, the legend of the Dadana and the Tain Trail and Maves Bull and the Cullen. So you imagine hauling up all of these stones from, from the bottom of the hills it's even hard enough just to walk up here and some of them have fallen over and uh, so I'm going to switch over to uh, to the night part of the camera because I didn't bring a torch but there you are there's some of the let's see if we just no oh, well you can see that now with the markings with the uh, circles and spires and here's one with like a flower and uh, so it's been 5,000 years so a lot of these uh, markings uh, are kind of hard to make out and it's all this one has lost all its markings but this one still has probably one of the most famous symbols in Irish in Irish uh, symbolism you know, it's even more graffiti this is the problem you know and uh, but this is the spiral the eternal spiral that goes out and back in on itself again and uh, of course we've got Egypt's everywhere doing their graffiti so I'm gonna pop over here you can see the back of the tomb let's see if we can just scoot in on there well you can't really oh you can you can see the the markings on the stone Somebody's highlighted them with a, with a black pen, I think. So what would happen is, uh, this is actually an equinox tomb. And there would have been a little window where they put in the cement here. So I think it's on the 21st of September and I don't know if it's the 21st of March, but the, the light would come in through here. This is actually, it would happen every year, but uh, on, on the equinox, which is every fourth year, would be the alignment to the stone at the back of the passage. Probably a bit smaller in those days. And they did find some things in here. They found some cut, but yeah, you can see the uh, the markings on the stones. And uh, the fantastic thing about this is they, as I say, it was made 5,000 years ago, which is about 2,000 years older than the pyramids. And uh, what's happened is uh, the earth has tilted by five degrees in the last 5,000 years. So this, when the, when the light comes in here and goes along these markings, it's the scale, this, it goes up the scale and there, the sunlight. And uh, it's it's wrong by five degrees. So the earth, because the earth is tilted, you know, and these are what they call the chevrons. And uh, it's just amazing that they had the, the technology to figure out, you know, that every four years, that the, the the light would come in here, so they weren't they weren't as daft as they're made out to be. These people they were very very cultured, and they must have had an absolute fantastic math mathematical 
um, what would you call it, uh, culture, you know, to, to build these first and then to have them where they're facing, you know, this one faces towards the equinox, but all the other ones, we showed you the collapsed one, they, uh, they all face at slightly different angles and there's us, this is for the sun and there's one for the moon and uh, for the different times of year and the different, uh, the shortest day and the longest days and as I say the equinox and uh, they would have had uh, I think in the back here they would have had slight cremations they wouldn't have done the whole cremations here just the symbolic cremations yeah. these would be covered in quartz and the interesting thing about the quartz there's no quartz in this area they would have had to to quarry it in Dublin in the Dublin mountains and they brought tons of it and uh, what they did is they quarried it in the Dublin mountains and brought it up the cross by the sea by the coast and then up the Boyne River and then up a river that I suppose would be the Black Water, would be the river that would would rise in this area. It would just be in a monumental feat to bring all tons and tons of this this quartz up here. And if you look hard enough, you can find the odd piece. But, uh, unfortunately, people have taken it away over the years, and uh, I know for a fact that they still do. And uh, if you're lucky enough to find the piece. There's another one there. As I say, it's collapsed in again. But they're all facing different directions. I think personally that this was a, a major observatory. They would have been keeping a track on, on the time and the seasons. Because of course they wouldn't have had watches in those days. So there you go, there's the other. 